Inside Edition's Deborah Norville underwent surgery this week to remove a cancerous thyroid nodule. So the limb, first pointed out by a viewer actually, was determined to be benign, but the anchor now says doctors say that it is cancerous. Take a look. You know, we live in a world of see something, say something, and I'm really glad we do. When you work on television, viewers comment on everything. Your hair, your makeup, the dress you're wearing. And a long time ago, an Inside Edition viewer reached out to say she'd seen something on my neck. It was a lump. Well, I'd never yes, that was a lump, not a limp. I yeah, just want to clarify. It, it, it actually struck me, her, her statement, and how it, 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 she went to the doctor immediately, turned out not to be anything, and then she says, until it was. Sure. Uh, with us now is head and neck surgeon Dr. Mark Kerner from Dignity Health Northridge with more on this. Great. Thanks for being with you. Hey, yes. good to have you here. Yes. So how common is this thyroid oh. cancer? And of course, is it curable? That's what people want to know. Sure. So for, for the first thing, thyroid cancer is actually relatively rare. There's only about 50,000 cases a year, which in terms of cancer numbers in this country is relatively low. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty unusual. Uh, in terms of the incidence of cancers. Now, it's, there's four major types of thyroid cancer. Mm -hmm. Two of them are the most common types that represent about 80, 85% of all thyroid cancers. And they're very curable if they're detected early. And they're, all, they're both very treatable. You know, where is your thyroid and what does it do? Sure, so our thyroid is located right in the neck. It's a butterfly-shaped gland mm -hmm. that sits right over the trachea, so right below the voice box as well. So when it sits in that area there, if you have a pretty thin neck and you have a lump or a mass it's that visible. develops in that, it can be visible. Yeah. yeah. Most of the time it's not, but a, a lot of times we actually can feel it, and it's pretty easy to feel the gland and palpate the gland, and we can feel a nodule, uh -huh. which can then lead us to a, a next diagnostic test to try to figure out and, whether it's cancer. And why do we need a thyroid? Well, we do because it it's the main regulator of our metabolism. Ah. So it produces thyroid hormone, and that's what regulates uh, almost all of our metabolic functions. But if you take it out, you can function without it? You can because we can give you Synthroid or a thyroid replacement, which many people are on for hypothyroidism. Which you have to take the rest of your life? You do, and it's one pill a day. Okay. So it's not the worst thing in the world because the hormone has a very long half-life, so even if you miss a day, you'll be okay. Okay, so in this case, a viewer noticed that lump in her throat, but mm. what are some symptoms that you should be aware of um, that can then take you to the doctor? Great question. Now, many times, most of them are, are not symptomatic, and we find them incidentally because either they had an, an x-ray mm. or an MRI of something else, like the spine or something else in the neck. But the symptoms that one should be worried about are either hoarseness mm. that doesn't go away because it can affect the nerves to the vocal cords, uh, a mass that you can actually feel, difficulty swallowing, sometimes difficulty breathing. Oh, okay. You know, let me ask you this because you kind of hinted at this before. Can you self-diagnose or well, self well, Well, you could certainly feel your own neck and you could, if you felt something that obviously shouldn't be there, you felt a lump so or a mass. So I'm supposed to feel it right here? Just well, like it's, right in the, it's right in the midline and, yeah. it, and it on each side of the trachea. So and not your Adam's apple. Right, it's right below your Adam's apple. Right below it, okay. Exactly. Okay, right. so uh, what about the difference with hypo versus hyperthyroidism? Sure. What does that mean? Well, that means that either the gland is not producing enough hormone to regulate your functions or it's producing too much. And we can test those with blood tests. And there really is no correlation between hyper or hypothyroidism and thyroid cancer. There so, is none. No, there is really so none. So just because you may have the former two doesn't mean it's going to necessarily develop into cancer. Exactly. So the main risk factors for thyroid cancer that we identify and that we understand are either radiation exposure or family history. Those are the two main risk factors. You know, another person, HGTV's uh, flip and flop, Tarek, mm -hmm. uh, one of the hosts there, uh, also a fan on that uh, for sure. that show, spotted a lump in his throat. I mean, his is very, yeah, his very, is very pronounced. visible. Look at that. Right. So he had a very, very large, uh, you know, pal it would be palpable too, but also very identifiable just on, you know, on a, you could see it on TV. Is and it easier to spot men or women's? Well, women typically would be probably easier. And again, it depends on your anatomy and your neck and whether you have a long, How thin, thin your neck. neck. Exactly. Is. Yeah. And even though it's rare, it can save your life if, if, if you get treatment in time. Sure. And the treatment is, is very, very, uh, the treatment's primarily surgery. And once we remove them for the two most common types, 
the well we call the well differentiated thyroid cancers, the cure rates are in the high 90 percent range. That's pretty phenomenal. It's very wow. good. Dr. Kerner, thank you so much. You're very very welcome. informative. We, appreciate we you got through a lot in. of yeah. information. I know, yeah. Um, thanks so much. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Thank you. He said he watches us in between uh, surgeries. Maria. We appreciate <laughs> it. We appreciate in it. In between surgeries. So where is inspiration, Maria? <laughs> oh wow. That's how I get flattered. That is